first of all, it probably doesn't get very old holding that silver trophy <laughs> with yourself, Simone, Lindsay, Coach. That's still got to be pretty cool every time you pick that up. Absolutely. Um, it, it's kind of a. Uh, it's really refreshing when we, you know, step off of that plane to get back to uh, Minnesota to, to start our new season as the defending champs, and, and just to see the trophy again, it, it brings back so many good memories and feelings, and uh, it, it just re-motivates us, I think, to to get back to work and, and do whatever we need to do to make sure we get another one. You win it the first time, I'm sure that's not satisfying enough for you. You want to win it a second, a third, and make this a dynasty, I'm sure you want. No, absolutely. I mean, it's going to be extremely hard. I think anytime you're you're talking about dynasties or multiple championships, it's um, it's a very very hard task. And uh, right now, we're just focused on training camp. You know, of course, we want to win a championship, but that's so far down the road. Uh, right now, we're just working on making sure that every practice and, and every time we get together, we're making the most out of each session. In trying to win a championship, you have to have the cast to do that. You've got most of the women back, mm -hmm. including a special one with Mama Taj coming back. What is that like having her come back? She's just said mm -hmm. moments ago, I'm 41, I don't know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> what does it mean to have her back? Yeah, having Taj McWilliams Franklin back uh, with us is huge. You know, she brought so much to the team last year just as far as, um, you know, experience. She's constantly communicating somebody who's going to make sure that if anything falls through the cracks, you know, she'll take care of it. She's one of those players that, um, just like she's a mom off the court, she's one for us on the court and how she um, is just always looking out for us and, and making sure that the team is doing what uh, the team needs to do. And, uh, you know, when she's out on the court, she's a warrior for us. She's just solid. You know, she'll get rebounds. She'll use her, 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 her slow moves that gets them every time and, and scores. You know, she just has her way about her that she, she's comfortable with what she does and she gets it done every time. Media day is usually pretty quiet around here. There is such a buzz around here <laughs> because there's so many people. I guess winning a championship will do that. I hope so. You know, when you, you have a group as special as, as uh, this one, I would hope people will get excited and, and we can just feel it in the room. You can just feel the excitement. You know, as people have been coming in for training camp, you can feel it. Uh, just driving back in the car from the airport, uh, everybody is really excited and um, I think just even more invested uh, in, into what we have because we know how good it can be and we want it to, to be even better. So are you going to incorporate any of Taj's slow moves into your game? I actually am. Uh, that's that's uh, a great, um, it, it's a great concept that I think uh, young players, you know, including myself, we, we sometimes we go too fast. And there's a balance to the game of changing your speed and you have to go a little slower sometimes and then use and control your speed and your power. And so I'm definitely trying to take a couple of pages from her book uh, and hopefully you'll see me using that even more in my game this year. Um, I think it's just taking, uh, you know, even better shots. Some of the things I'm going to be uh, working on this year is just being even more efficient on offense. And, you know, after my rookie year and kind of getting a feel for the game and, um, you know, working through just, you know, your rookie season, it you kind of have to take uh, take everything in stride. So this year I'm going to be a lot more comfortable, a lot more um I think intentional about what I'm doing and how I'm scoring and, and um, how I'm moving out there on the court. Mm -hmm. Just playing overseas has helped me. I'm um, just having the ball in my hands a little bit more. Um, just continuing to get comfortable uh, at, at the at the pro level as far as just the speed and 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 where I'm scoring from and um, you know just just playing. Um, anytime I'm out there on the court playing, I'm getting more comfortable um, with, with my game at this level and uh, playing with great players of course always makes it uh, even more worth my while just because I know I'm getting better because I'm competing against the best so it was a great experience. Are you approaching this season as two halves with the Olympics breaking the season up for a good few weeks or talk about how you prepare yeah. for the season like that? Well, I'm really going to be looking um, to our coaches and our veterans to kind of get a feel for what I should expect just because I've never uh, been in a season with this schedule uh, where the Olympics are in. So I'm going to kind of take their lead. You know, I'm going to take everything one day at a time, uh, as I always do, and making sure that I, I make the most out of each day. But 
um, I'm definitely going to look to to the coaches and, and some of the, the veterans who've been there and won gold medals before to, to kind of see mentally, you know, how we should approach this long season. Is there any talks of, you know, obviously fatigue, playing overseas this season and then the Olympics? Is there any anything you'll do differently going in, you think? Or? Just... I, just being smart, you know, knowing that it's been a long year for me, it's, it's been a long year for everybody. Um, you just have to be smart as far as taking care of our bodies, being very in tune to our bodies and, and what they need as far as getting treatment and rest and nutrition and um, making the most of our time out on the court so that we can be very efficient. Uh, so, you know, of course I'm going to get plenty of rest, sleep, sleep well, um, recover, and um, give everything I have when I'm out on the court. Have you heard that uh, Candice has now coined the frame uh, bench mob? Uh, that they basically want to get to the point where a coach can do a five on five sub at some point in the game. <laughs> bench mob. <laughs> well, that's been one of the strengths of our team. You know, last year, looking at our roster, um, we were really excited. I think people were really excited to see the talent that we have. But it takes more than that, it takes coming together and really. Uh, being able to work well together, and I think that's something that our second team does. You know, it, it, I feel just as comfortable playing, uh, you know, with them as I do our first five for the most part. And um, it's really exciting to know that when you go to practice, you're competing against, you know, the, the other five are, are going to push you and challenge you and really make you step up. And um, their mindset going in uh, to last season was really, was really good. And now that we were successful that way, I think it's going to be even more uh, dynamic. In, in what way will you step up in your second year as a pro? Um, I think as far as my, my offense, um, I'm definitely looking to be even more efficient, um, you know, increasing my field goal percentage, my three-point field goal percentage, my free throw percentage, everything, uh, you know, as far as being efficient with the basketball, uh, being smarter with the basketball, making, um, you know, better passes, better decisions with the ball in general. You know, after my rookie season, I think some of those – uh, kinks and, and trying to feel my way through a little bit uh, are mostly gone and I want to continue to um, just to be even more of a of a threat offensively and then defensively just continuing uh, to keep people in front of me and um, be solid for my teammates. How nice mm -hmm. is it to know you've got that support from your head coach? It's great you know whenever your coach has confidence in you um, it frees you up to, to just play free and, and I'm, I'm definitely uh, a very instinctual player, and, and for players like you know me, who uh, a lot of times we, um, it's just more of a feel thing. You want that green light from your coach, so you're not bogged down in thinking, ah, oh, should I shoot? Should I not shoot? If I'm open and it's a good shot, and you know, been developing those instincts as far as far as what's a good shot, what's not such a good shot. You know, as long as that's taken care of, uh, Coach Reeves giving me the green light, and um, I love playing that way. It makes me a threat to the defense, which is going to open up my teammates as well. So uh, it works for everybody. Very good, thanks. Any information on your uh, shoes, uh, your own signature shoe coming out? Or? Well, as of now, uh, I don't have a signature shoe, um, but you will be seeing some, uh, some, some cool stuff this season. Uh, we're definitely going to switch it up a little bit more and, more and uh, some of the the, the, the latest technology and, and, and styles from, from the Jordan brand you will be seeing on my feet this season. So look you forward to it. You were a big title and a Spanish title. What do those mean in your, in your mm -hmm. resume, winning those kind of titles? Those are very important. I think it's another challenge. Anytime I'm challenged with something new, um, you, you want to win and you want to show that you can be a winner uh, in many different settings and, and any different stage. So uh, I had great teammates again in Europe and um, it, it was extremely important for us to win and, and to, to take advantage of that special team that we had this, this last season in Europe.